we know it's a nice day today, 45 degrees, blue sky sunny, but if it was snowy, ice, cold, rain, would you still be running barefoot? Well, I once ran about 10 miles in deep snow with a group of guys from New Haven, and I got frostbite, so I, I don't do deep snow. <laughs> somebody, somebody gave me a bump steer and told me that the, that the shirt was in the Himalayas walk barefoot in the snow, and I found out after I did this that it's not true. <laughs> Now, David, um, obviously you save money on socks and sneakers. Um, is this part of the motivation? Well, I thought about blackmailing the shoe companies because, you know, after these races and you get these elite African runners, I always say to them, would you wear shoes if you were over in Kenya or Ethiopia? And they say, no, but we're paid to wear shoes here. So I, I, I figured I should blackmail these shoe companies. You know. Very interesting observation. So let's talk about foot care. Do you take special care of your feet before a race like this? Well, special care, no, I mean, I just, no, nothing special, just one pair. You don't coat them, you don't file them, you don't callous them? No, no, it's, it, you know, you, you meet a blacksmith or a good carpenter with, with, you look at his hands, it looks like my feet. Skin, <laughs> skin is made to be beat on. That's what, that's what makes skin grow. So David, a lot of people are wondering, when you go to work, assuming you work, do you wear shoes or do you go barefoot? Well, I used to, then I went to work for the UN and I had to wear a certain tie and it wouldn't have looked good to, to have barefoot. So I had to wear, I had to wear shoes. 